The launch of the centenary celebration of Dr. Mrs. Esther Clue has taken place in Accra. Information Minister Mr. Kodropo Nkrumah encouraged young entrepreneurs, especially women, to learn from the achievements of Dr. Clue and rekindle the can-do spirit in their business dealings against all odds. Dr. Esther Oklu is being remembered with the theme, honoring a legend of her time. The entrepreneur would have been 100 years old on 18th April 2019. Industry Players, the Association of Ghana Industries, AGI, of which he founded in 1958 and was president three times, and old Achimotans were at the event. Their Minister for Information, Mr. Kojo Ponkrumah, encouraged young entrepreneurs to learn from the resilience of Dr. Mrs. Oklu and encourage the media to shed light on her achievements. I also want to particularly charge you, our colleagues in the media, to make time to highlight and to program around her story, her legacy, and what today's young business crop can learn from it. A former Minister of State in the Kufu regime, Madame Elizabeth Ohini, recalled how Dr. Oklu started her business from humble beginnings. She didn't have a job. She didn't know what to do, and she was sitting with her aunt and feeling generally miserable. Her aunt gave her 10 shillings and sixpence, and she took six shillings out of the 10 shillings, bought stuff, and made marmalade, a few jars of marmalade, and she sold it and got 12 shillings. The CEO of the AGI, Mr. Setum Akwabua, explained how the Ghana Trade Fair site was birthed, courtesy the industriousness of Dr. Oklu. She was the president at the time, and they organized a special, in fact, the very first made in Ghana exhibition was held under her leadership. It was held at Bidding Power Hall. She managed to mobilize a lot of Ghanaian companies to showcase their products. They invited the president of Ghana at the time, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. And when Kwame Nkrumah came, he was so surprised to see the kind of products that were exhibited. And he was wondering whether they were indeed produced in Ghana. And they said, yes, these are all made in Ghana products. Then Kwame Nkrumah promised them, I'll give you a permanent place to exhibit made in Ghana products at all times. And that is what led to the establishment of the Ghana Trade Fair Center. The Dr. Oklu Foundation has planned a series of lectures, a commemorative service, and an exhibition on her life and works in the weeks ahead. Emmanuel Amagashi, GBC 24, Accra.